When you buy a rally fighter, you become a rock star. You suddenly understand what paparazzi is about because you're getting people that are snapping pictures of you five a mile. 430 horsepower, the car weighs under 4,000 pounds. It's pretty much like driving a Corvette on steroids. It is about one of the torquiest horsepower laden vehicles for the lightness that it is that you'll ever find. All in a package that has all the creature comforts like heat and AC, power windows and door locks. This is a performance desert racing vehicle that's on-road capable. I mean, you can take this thing out to the desert on the weekend and romp on it. I mean, you can drive it on the street every day, it really doesn't matter. It's gonna pull you across the outback faster than any vehicle you can buy on the road, and the wheel travel is your ticket to freedom. It's got 20 inches of suspension travel in the rear, 18 in the front. It is fully adjustable. It is a rock star car with incredible power for control and amazing speed because of the travel that it gives you. Because we have 20 inches of suspension travel, it can go a lot of places that a normal two-wheel drive vehicle might not be able to go. Anything in front of you that's 20 inches large, you're going to be able to soak up as you go through. A dip, a bump, other things like that. On-road, off-road, 50 state street legal. It's got all four catalytic converters. Even passes California emissions. And you roll out on the road for the first time, and you start to do things. You go over rough terrain. You go many hundreds of miles where the road doesn't go anymore. Even if you're getting groceries, playing golf, or go out to the dunes even. We've had paddles on them and been to Glamis and the thing performs beautifully. I mean, you've got a 430 horsepower LS3, 6.2 liter. Transmission's your choice. Uh, a lot of the customers that are driving this on the street prefer the 4L85, which is a four speed, or you can do the T400 three speed, which obviously is bulletproof. So for racing, it's, it's a much better fit. Obviously, like any other automobile, there is some level of customization. Um, we have certain customers that want a more race ready rally fighter, so we do some chassis modifications, spare tire racks, bumpers, the rigid lights, I mean, full bead locks, dual shock setup. So, I mean, it can get pretty extreme. The beauty about the rally fighter is we don't paint anything. We let you wrap the vehicle almost in any way you can think of. No paint shop. Look around, no paint shop. Look anywhere in this supply chain, no paint shop. Customer sits down with our graphic arts department while they're here and designs their vehicle wrap. They also pick their wheel and tire combination. You get to pick your seats. There's definitely some options in terms of navigation, but essentially the, the meat and potatoes of, of the customization is that skin and, and the ability to, to change that whenever you want. A rally fighter could never come to market unless it was microfactory produced. So it's small scale production for kind of a niche market. It's not custom made. It's not one-off production. It's micro production. We've taken everything that we don't like about traditional processes and flipped them on their heads. A lot of people say, so Local Motors is the company where you come and make your own car. Yes. Aside from selling the Rally Fighter, what we're really doing is selling the experience of building your own vehicle. It doesn't matter if you have multiple skills or no skills at all because, you know, whatever it takes to get it done, we're here to help you do that. And as they're building the vehicle, they're learning how the car comes together in every way. Knowing your car inside and out is really what it's all about. So that later on, if they wanted to uh, modify the vehicle, they know every piece of the car, where they can drill, where they can't drill a hole, so on and so forth, so that then they can continue to create the vehicle and really make it their own. When you first pull up to a stoplight and a person is driving next to you and they roll down their window and say, that's an amazing car, where did you get that? And you say, I built it myself. They had an experience here that they'll always remember for their entire life. It takes about six days of their time, and what we try and do is break that up over two, three-day weekends. They're not just kind of standing on the sideline as myself, the lead builder trainer, or one of our build team members is assembling the car. They're actually the ones that are doing the work. When they come in, the chassis is done, welded, powder coated, uh, ready to go. So some of the first things they do are brakes, brake lines, fuel lines, and then moving on to actually mating the engine and transmission. The local motors team, the build team, is just handing them the parts, handing them the tools and saying, okay, right now you're going to install this engine, you're going to install the transmission, you're going to install the suspension, you're going to do the wiring, uh, you're going to install the seats, the seat belts, the body panels. So pretty major portions of the car, you're not just kind of standing by as an onlooker, it's a legitimate build experience, you are building the car. All the hard parts are done in the first three-day session, and then the second three-day session is interior, body, glass. Uh, all the fit and finish on the interior. We're providing you with a full set of snap-on tools to build the car with. 
and of course you're working with one of our team members that can give you the knowledge of how to put the car together. The customer ends up doing about 50% 50, 50 of the work, but most times some of the customers actually get pretty involved and end up doing more than the 50%. Uh, the moment that you drive out of here, you have now become truly empowered to know what you can and can't do with the car and all of the data is open source. So when you say, now I want to turbocharge my engine, now I want to supercharge my engine, now I want to change these shocks to use different valving, now I want to put different brakes on my car, you are beginning to enter the world of complete custom modification of your vehicle. Local Motors is more than the Rally Fighter, obviously. We've got a lot more going on here than building and selling Rally Fighters. This the theory of asking people what they want is an important thing in life, I think. What you see behind me is the world's first co-created production vehicle. We thought the notion of co-creation was important. Together, we create something big. There's a lot of people out there with opinions and voices that are not being heard, and we've basically given the community that voice to produce something that they want. People say, here's an idea, like a sketch. And then another person will say, here's what an interior of that might look like. And another person would say, I'd like to sell engines for that. And, and you build over time. The Rally Fighter is a byproduct of the Forge. And what the Forge is, is essentially a forum, if you will, of engineers, designers, fabricators, uh, and even just enthusiasts. And so this is how the Rally Fighter was developed. A man named Sang Ho Kim, he basically said, here's a cool idea. Here's like a high-waisted coupe, almost like a Lancia Stratos, almost like what a Subaru could be. And if so it's really high-waisted, long-wheel travel, and think it just bomb across the desert. Let's build that. He got people to be excited about it. Enough so that people started to say, oh, if you did this, it could look like this. And oh, if it really is, it's like a fighter plane for the land. And you know, maybe you should put like a ventral belly scoop on that. Or like, oh, you know, it should have wing features on the side of it or all these things. And that's how they began to be born. And then we went all the way through to being able to get to where it was basically an outside. And then we started to say, but what does the inside look like? So we started a competition, and this guy named Mihai Panetescu designed the interior. And one was done by collaboration with an idea outside, and one was done by competition with a prize on the inside. There have probably been about 160 to 200 people that have contributed in one way or another, small or large, to the creation of the Rally Fighter over time. If it's a sill plate, if it's a switch panel, I mean, that's all dictated by our, our community. As complex or as simple as a part as it is, that's, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty astounding to say, you know, hey, this was Joe from the community and he designed this sill plate. And every Rally Fighter that has that sill plate, there's Joe. That's his input into the vehicle. You already see on Local Motors people who are looking at boat concepts, people looking at aircraft concepts, people looking at motorcycle concepts. From artist sketch to the beta car, which was the original Rally Fighter, was 18 months. You know we want different things from cars, and the big car companies, many of them are losing a lot of money. And it's probably because those two things are connected. They're not giving us the things we want, and so we're giving them a drubbing for not giving us the things we want. And so that, more than anything, got me set afire to say, it can be done differently. Our next vehicle could be a, you know, an alternative fuel you know, little commuter car. Well, chances are that micro factory might be in, who knows, I mean, it could be Shanghai, it could be New York City, it could be Chicago, LA. And yes, we want to make a baller, super slick, beautiful car that is just an icon of beauty from a point of view of Grand Touring Coupe or something else like that. We have online competitions. Uh, and then the winners of certain competitions, you know, might get certain things, you know, it might develop into a rally fighter or it might just be a cash prize. We want our community to come and say, I have this crazy idea, what do you think? And if you find enough people to like it, maybe you will see that idea become real.